think it's pretty funny these past couple years, comedians love horror movies. Jordan Peele, Get Out and Us. Danny McBride, he wrote Halloween. Chris Rock, a fan of the Saw franchise. Comedians, they love horror movies. That's what we're learning now. Spiral stars Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson is about a criminal mastermind unleashes a twisted form of justice in Spiral, the terrifying new chapter from the book of Saw. Now here's my background in the Saw franchise. The Saw franchise is entertaining because the first seven movies give them credit. Yes, they're gory. Yes, they are literally probably made for the traps. But at least they have continuity, like they have characters from other movies. It gets a little jumbled, but at least they stuck to with all of those movies. Jigsaw, I don't know what that was, honestly. So for this one, Chris Rock came to the studio and was like, I have a Saw idea. And you know what? I was like, I'm intrigued. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, I want to see that, but I'm not hyped because deep down it is Saw 9. Starting off with the pauses, I think Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson alone kind of saved this movie. They are good in this movie. Samuel L. Jackson is not in this movie as long as you think he is. He is a very, very tiny role. And when he's in it, he's Samuel L. Jackson. I like him, even though he's got some really bad dialogue. But Chris Rock, on the other hand, has most of the screen time and if you've seen the last seat of Fargo he's been very good at acting lately and in this he proves it again I mean heck he came to the studio with this idea and when I watch this movie obviously he didn't write it he executive produced it I can tell what his idea is and I can say this I like the idea I just think this movie had the worst script and possibly the worst director for this movie Mainly my pauses is Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson and the movie looks good like it's a 20 million dollar budget It looks good for the most part and besides that I Really did not like this movie and you know for the most part like I said Saw is an entertaining franchise and the guy who directed this movie did Saw 2, 3, and 4 because Saw 1 is this kind of movie It's a mystery thriller trying to figure it out. There's a whole thing to it this movie feels like the first one. I will respect that for them going back to the original roots. But the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4 did this one. And you can tell that he was the one that turned the franchise into what it's known for. The traps, the blood, the gore. This movie has that, but I will say most of the traps are not memorable. There's only a few in this movie. They are intriguing to watch. But I will say this, in most of the movies... They give them time. In this movie, when the trap starts, every person, like every single trap in this movie, they barely have any time to decide, do they want to do this to themselves to live? This movie gives none of them time. That was like one of my big issues with the trap. And now talking about the script, the dialogue is awful. I mean, the dialogue is so bad. There are literal times I'm like, I could have wrote this. If you've seen any of my old, old, old videos of me and my friends making short films, that's the dialogue you get in this movie at times. At times, there is that kind of dialogue. I'm like, this is horrible dialogue. And there's a bunch of dubbed lines. I was like, this is just stupid. And there's a stupid, I mean, awful editing in this movie like i mean there are literal times i for, for the most part i think it's like a three-day thing no the timetable in this movie is jump 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 like someone dies and they go to their person's house to like mourn them and i think the entire time it's the same day apparently not and i was like what what is up with this editing? The editing is so bad in this movie. It's presented really bad. And I think the biggest problem is the director. The director did not give a performance for these actors to really go off. Now, again, the script is not great. I think the script is really bad. Horrible to be most part. But the thing is, when the director is directing a movie, you want your performers to get the best acting performance. Now, the actor's job is to give that performance but you need to like tell the actors what this scene is doing. And all the actors had a sub level of basically, we need this point to get to cross to this point. 
There was no effort into scenes. There was no characters. It was people talking and moving along. And by the end of the movie, I had no care for for any single character. I barely even cared for Chris Rock. The only thing about him is he's Chris Rock and there's jokes that he does and they come at the worst timing. I was like, why are we doing a bunch of jokes in a Saw movie? Like, it's not presenting itself well. The tones are not going together. And by the end of the movie, I sat there and I was like, okay, I think this is what Chris Rock's idea was for this movie. And it could be really cool in a Saw movie. Like, it really cool. Like, I, I like the idea. I just think the producers, the director, the script did not give that idea good enough credit and a good enough script. Because by the end of this movie, I sat there and I was like, so that's how we're going to end this movie. So you're going to leave me with that image trying to present to me, this is our message. And the whole movie, I was like, so you're just basically trying to do that and this. And by the way, no spoilers. This movie is dumb predictable. Like, I mean, if you can't predict this ending and you can't present to me, like, I think this happens. I think you need to watch a few more movies because when certain things happen, I said it and I was right. Like, 100% right. I was never wrong in my predictions. So overall, Spiral, I guess I'm disappointed because the trailers look good. It looked like the original Saw movie, but for the most part, horrible script, not great directing, and really the traps are not memorable. And Saw is meant for that, but I know it's not trying to be just a bloody fest or trying to go investigation style, which I do like. And I like Chris Rock and I like Samuel Jackson, but you got to give me a movie that's really gritty and give me something that's really intriguing. This is not that. I'm gonna give Spiral a D plus. I haven't watched any video reviews yet, but I've seen a few comments on Twitter and social media. For the most part, it seems like people are liking it a lot. And if you like this movie, you are allowed to like it. You, it's totally, like Saw fans, I think a lot of Saw fans are gonna like it more than me. But again, I like the Saw movies. I'm not a diehard fan. The first one is a good movie. Like, the first one is a solid, good movie. This one, I'd rather watch Jigsaw. I, yeah, I know a lot of people hate Jigsaw, so yeah. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this movie review, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.